Hello, my name is Ashley Hubbard, and today we're going to talk about music and narrative, the power of music and storytelling. When people tell their life stories, they often attach meaning to their experiences. Narrative is a basic human strategy for how we come to terms with those experiences. Music, on the other hand, is often used as a narrative tool to bring these experiences and these stories alive. It does this by pulling on the person's past, present, and future narratives that create identity. Music is a powerful tool in storytelling because it promotes personal growth, it gives hope, and it allows us to regain control over our own lives and our own narratives. To start, I make the notion that music is a type of narrative, a type of storytelling. Narrative includes any expression that is experienced over time. By definition, this includes music, which relies on the listener's understanding over the course of the piece. Since music is a type of narrative, composition then is the study of using music to construct a narrative. Using narrative and composition begins with understanding the structures behind the story and what makes the story compelling. But before we get into the music, However, let's take a closer look at a specific type of narrative. One of the most well-known structures for understanding narrative is the hero's journey. Joseph Campbell in his text, A Hero with a Thousand Faces, observed myths and legends around the globe. He claims that they often conform to a common narrative. This narrative can be used in gaining compositional skills because it gives the composer a narrative structure to work with. The first part of the hero's journey is the call to action. The hero, or the main character, is called to take action due to a disturbance in their surroundings, which ultimately causes them distress. However, the hero soon realizes that they must journey into the unknown. The next part is crossing the threshold. The hero has realized that their destination lies in the unfamiliar, and for them to reach it, they must go through a change in perception of their current reality. It's this idea that in order for me to get where I need to go, I must change my outlook or my perspective on where I am now. It started with deciding to take action to travel this journey, and now I have to find a new perspective because the one I had didn't get me, can't get me to my destination. I'm in unfamiliar territory now. Next is the road of trials. The hero experiences a series of obstacles as they go deeper into the unknown. Their perceptions of reality are challenged even more now. Then there's the nadir of the journey. It's the deepest point of the journey, or in some cases, the climax. This is the point of furthest removal from the hero's initial understanding of their reality. The hero must master this new perception in order to continue on. Then there's the refusal of the return. That's when the character starts to resist their destiny. It's this idea that the hero in the end is expected to return home with this new knowledge gained from this journey but some heroes, some characters decide to stay instead of returning. Music is a powerful tool in storytelling because it helps promote personal growth. Every person has a story, but this story usually refers to the past, which is a huge part in forming a person's identity. Our reality is structured through the telling and the retelling of stories. Therefore, the past can influence a person's current actions. Recalling and interpreting the past narratives means looking back, reflecting, and making sense of what happened. With that being said, music is often reminiscent. It has the power to stimulate memories through moments of expression and is therefore a way to recall past experiences. Without memories being recalled, real healing and personal growth is impossible. Healing is described as finding purpose and meaning behind our pain and suffering. After all, suffering and pain is a huge part of the human experience. Furthermore, 
Using music to reflect on the past promotes personal growth because it allows us to see how far we've come. In order for someone to grow and to heal, they must acknowledge and give meaning to their past narrative. The past may never be forgotten, or else there will be no lens through which the future can be viewed. Now that we've looked at the past, let's turn our attention to the present. A lot of narratives, especially in song, have themes of human suffering. Even the hero's journey talks about a call to action during times of distress. The call to action is something that happens in the present. The character in the story realizes that they must act and change their perception of what's currently happening. The character recognizes the fact that their situation won't change until they take steps towards imagining a new reality, the future. In the present, the hero must ask the question, what can I do now in this moment that will lead to the outcome I'm seeking? Since music can connect to our emotions, it can be used to encourage and strengthen people to take necessary action. For example, Felix Mendelssohn's O Rest in the Lord talks about resting in the Lord and waiting patiently in Him. It says to commit thy way unto Him and trust in Him, and only then will He give us our heart's desires. This piece conveys a present narrative because it gives instructions in the moment. It's saying, this is what you should do, so go do it. It's saying that if you rest in the Lord, then he will give you your heart's desires. In other words, if I take action, then in the future, this is what I will gain. This is the future outcome I will have. Using music and telling our present narratives promotes personal growth because it points out that unless we make some kind of change, especially in our perception, we cannot grow and our, de and our desired destination won't be reached. 
As a result, the story of our present journey will reflect that. Oh, rest in the Lord, wait patiently for Him, and He shall give thee thy heart's desires. Oh, rest in the Lord, wait patiently for Him, and He shall Johannes Brahms's Cradle Song also talks about this idea of resting. Cradle Song was dedicated to his friend Bertha Faber, who gave birth to her second son. He was in love with her in her youth and constructed this song in light of one that she used to sing to him. The English translation reads, Good evening, good night, guarded by angels, which show you in a dream the Christ child's tree. Sleep now blissfully and sweetly see paradise in your dreams. Rest is definitely something we all need, especially in our life's journey. If we don't find rest, then the hardships we face in the future will wear us out. Rest is necessary for building strength, which is in fact necessary for personal growth. This song gives an action to take in the present, which is to rest or sleep blissfully, and to imagine the ideal place you'd like to be. Stupid. 
Indeed, our actions in the present do affect the future. The purpose of making a change in the present is to imagine and look for an alternate narrative, usually referring to the future. The changes we make or don't make in the present determines whether or not our future narrative will change. If I decide to change my perception, then my future will change along with it and become a new reality. Music is a powerful tool in storytelling because it gives hope. It does this by drawing our attention to the future. Music is often linked to the promotion of hope because it can help achieve a new consciousness by surpassing the moment of suffering. Hope includes this idea of a leap forward, and this leap can be made through music as an inseparable part of a person's identity. Music can cause us to look at what lies ahead instead of looking at what's happening now in our current situation. This is how we can imagine a new future or a new reality. Through music, we have hope to keep going on this journey, which contributes to creating our future narrative. Eventually, the future will become the new present and we'll have another future to look forward to. Our life story is this one big cycle and music is one tool that helps us to tell our story. Jay Althaus's arrangement of Poor Wayfaring Stranger is a good example of drawing attention to the future by looking at what lies ahead. Poor Wayfaring Stranger is a well-known American folk and gospel song originating in the 19th century. There are many versions of the song published, often being linked to times of hardship in someone's life. The song says, I'm just a poor wayfaring stranger traveling through this world of woe. Yet there is no sickness, toil, or danger in the fair land to which I go. It continues, I'm going there to see my father. I'm going there no more to roam. I'm just a going over Jordan. I'm just a going over home. These lyrics talk about a journey. This person is traveling, trying to reach a desired destination. It's a song of hope looking at what's to come. This idea that I'm going there to see my loved ones, even though the journey itself is full of woe. The hero's journey talks about trials and obstacles that the subject has to go through to get to where they're going. That is what this song is talking about. This person gains hope because they're looking past the obstacles to what's waiting for them when they reach home. If we keep our eyes on the goal, then what's happening right now won't keep us from journeying on. There's a change in perception that's happening here because my eyes are now on the destination, not what's happening in front of me. I'm just a poor wayfaring stranger a traveling through this world of Going over Jordan
Music is a powerful tool in storytelling because it allows us to regain control over our own life. Storytelling through music empowers people to regain control by journeying in discovery of stories that shed light on a different interpretation of their past and present stories. In our life stories, the journey is more important than the destination because the journey is what creates a good story. It's not about where we're going, but it's how we get there that matters. That's what draws people's attention, and that's the heart of the narrative. When a story is told through music, composers are actively deciding what to include and how to structure the story in such a way that it will appeal to an audience. The key to creating our story is to remain an expert in our own lives, because only we can tell our stories and it's up to us how we want it told. My mentor and teacher, Dr. Kathy Bullock, once said, only you can sing your song. No one can create or share our narratives for us. We must take control over our own stories and create a narrative worth reading, or in this case, worth listening to.